Hey guys, Attic Cyclist here with an update to the Factor Ostro build. So I've been taking my time with this. I really want to rush and put it together and get on it. Uh, but I want to do it right. I uh, want to spend the extra time protecting the frame before I build this thing up. So just a quick little uh, overview. So we ended up spending about five hours yesterday cutting and tracing and and uh, spending a lot of time trying to get this, this bike uh, protected. It's too pretty to, uh, to have any damage or nicks on. So... I just wanted to kind of go over like you really can't tell too much on the uh, glossed carbon frame uh, obviously there's a little bit of dust on it from yesterday I gotta take some alcohol like you can see how the custom job we did yesterday this actually starts right here comes all the way back and actually does wrap around a little bit here you can see those lines and then as far as the bottom bracket you can see hopefully the angles the camera's picking that up but you can see the tracing we've done, the outlines to try to get it to the point where it's matched up pretty good. And then we did the entire down tube right up to the to the line here where it starts to do the D-shape. So we did both chain stays. We did the inside of the seat tube. So you can see it starts right about here and goes straight down. And we kind of traced it and we cut it to kind of conform uh, a couple air bubbles we got to get out still but like i said just wanted to spend the extra time on it to get this thing looking looking good looking protected and i know the camera angles don't do this raw carbon gloss carbon justice but it is absolutely stunning you know you see a lot of bikes that are are uh matte you know clear coated over carbon but you don't see too many high gloss i mean and the, the decal work here you know with the flicker it's just awesome so again a couple air bubbles we got to get out nothing crazy those are right at the end take a little bit of heat gun push them out but you can see there's the, another bottom bracket section that we did and then right down into the it starts right here wraps all the way around it goes all the way around the rest of the chain stay. We did have to kind of spend a little extra time with the bolts underneath, but we did, we were able to cut, cut around those after it kind of dried and just kind of cut ever so slightly. So yeah, you can barely tell on this frame up close. I mean, far away up close. Yeah, you can start to see a little bit of lines, but you know, it's, it's definitely, definitely worth the investment. So it starts right here. Again, this frame makes it really, really easy to hide. So I'm probably gonna maybe consider just running a strip along here. I've had other people's wheels throw rocks uh, at my Cannondale. So I'm gonna probably just cover that up. No need to cover this up. I'm not gonna do the inside of the down tube, uh, but I will do the fork blades. I'm gonna wrap it around here about halfway or maybe even go the full way and then stop where the D-shape silhouette is. So uh, that's basically that's all that's left. Uh, I have all my parts in and uh, scheduled to uh, finish the, the build this week. So uh, I'm excited about it and uh, more videos to come. So please like and subscribe uh, to stay on par and on track with, uh, with the build and the feedback. Thanks, be well.